Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at two Dell Sonic walls. We have a TZ300 and a TZ270. We're going to be exporting the configuration from this TZ300 to this 270. And I'm going to show you step by step on how to get that accomplished. So we went ahead and moved that new firewall into our rack already. We're plugged in through X0 on that port, but we're going to let this sit for a minute because we're going to actually log into that old firewall first and export that configuration. And then I'll show you how we can get it imported into this new TZ270. Okay, the first thing you should do is upgrade your firmware to the latest version on any, it doesn't matter, our TZ300, uh, TZ350, or whatever firewall you have, you want to upgrade to the latest version. Um, that'll help with compatibility with the settings and everything. And then you also want to actually go to Sonic Wall's uh, website here. They have a nice uh, table here that shows you all the old firewalls and if it's compatible and what's not compatible with the newer versions. So you can see here in our destination firewalls, you can see... We have a TZ300 and we are going to a TZ270 and you can see, yes, pretty much everything will convert and move over to that firewall. So that's great news for us, right? And you can see some of these are partials. So you just have to look at what firewall you have and you're going to see what's supported, what configurations uh, will need to get modified. So you can see these uh, legends for the tables down here um, and you can see what's not supported, right? So in our case, we are supported, so we've got the green light, so we can go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and log into that old firewall and get that uh, configuration file. All right, so I actually had to remote into another machine to get into that firewall that we need to get into. So I'm in that computer. I went to the IP address of the Sonic wall. We're going to go ahead and log in as the admin account. And once we get logged in here, we're going to want to go to manage, I believe. Yep, we're going to go to manage, go to firmware and backups. And we're going to wait for this to load up here. We're going to maximize it. And then you can see right here at the top, uh, import and export con configuration. So we're going to hit the drop down, export configuration. It's that easy. And hit export. Now, like I said, it is best to update your old firewall to the latest version first. Um, but in our case, we already did that. So if you didn't, um, go ahead and uh, do that now. We're just going ahead and we have already exported earlier, but we're going to do a new export. So we're going to export it now and then we're going to move that to our desktop. All right, we have that file on our desktop now. So we're going to go back to our main computer and we're going to go to migratetool.global.sonicwall.com. Now what this is going to do is help convert that settings config file that we just exported and convert it to that new format so we can import it into that new version of the TZ270, right? So this is a very important step. You want to do this so you don't lose any of your settings. If you just try to import, you know, it's either going to break it, things might not, certain rules might not be working, the NAT interfaces might be all screwed up. So it's very important to do this. So we're going to go ahead and select our uh, Sonic wall here because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to select our configuration file, which is on our desktop. And then we're going to hit upload. Wait for this to upload and process. And then we're going to hit next. And we're going to select our firewall that we're moving to. And this is great because it actually tells you what's compatible and what's not going to be compatible. So it looks like a lot of it's compatible. Uh, so we're going to do the TZ270 because we don't have the wireless edition. So we clicked on that. We're going to hit next. Okay, now we're in the assign interface section. And you can see it imported all of our settings. Uh, you will be able to see my WAN IP address, but of course, I don't want to give that out, so I have that blocked. So you can select what interface we want to change this to. So we're going to select our LAN to that X0, and then our WAN is going to be X1, right? Now, if your uh, setup is different, mine's a very basic setup. I have a couple of VLANs, um, and everything's on the default LAN X0. And then my WAN is, of course, X1, and I don't have anything else selected for anything else. So that's all we need here. Now we're going to hit next. And then target version. This is important. We need to know what version our new Sonic wall is on, right? So let's log into our new firewall while we have this up and see what version that is on. We've logged into our new firewall. And like I said, usually that IP address is going to be that default 192.168.168.168. Um, but like I said, if you've already changed all that. But like I said, to get in, you just do the quick set setup. And then when it asks you, do you want to do the setup wizard? You don't do that. Just do the manual setup. Click on that. Log in. Go to firmware and settings. And you can see what firmware version you're on. So we're on the 5.119.701. So let's go back here. And we're on 701.5.119. So that's perfect. So we're going to select this. And we're going to hit finish because we don't want to drop any of our uh, default rules. So click on finish and it should make that conversion. 
and then export a new configuration settings file for us. And then we'll be able to import that into our new firewall and then we should be really good to go. So let's go ahead and save it to our desktop. We're gonna go ahead and now log into our 270 here. So we're plugged in with X0 into the LAN port and we're gonna log into this firewall and get that configuration imported. And then we're gonna go back to our new firewall and we're gonna to go to import and export configuration. Click on import. We're gonna to browse to that same desktop location and you can see the modified uh, date here, which is our new one. So click on that and hit open and import. Now keep in mind this will, I think, boot reboot your firewall. Um, don't correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe if you import these settings, it does need to reboot. You might get that network error, just ignore that. That's perfectly fine. Your firewall is actually going into a reboot right now. Um, so go ahead and click OK on that, and then let's wait for it to uh, reboot and come back up. Okay, like I said, please be patient. You got the error message, but hey, that's just your firewall rebooting. Give it about 10, 15 minutes for that reboot. Um, we already saw it reboot in our rack, and you can see our IP address just changed from that 192.168.168.168, which is the default subnet, to that 10.10.66, which is what it just changed to. So you might have to reconfigure IP address uh, depending on your infrastructure and how your uh, DHCP is set up. Um, so we got a DHCP address, we went to that IP address, boom, it went right to our firewall so we know our import worked. We're gonna log in to our firewall now. And as you can see, all of our VLANs and everything came over, it imported all of our settings. Everything seems to be working. Now you wanna check if you have site-to-site -site VPNs, uh, any uh, other specialized NAT uh, rules that might have need to be uh, reconfigured or set up. But like I said, if it should bring over 100% of all your settings. I've seen some cases where things might have break and I just had to re, like for example, if I have port forward rules set up from the uh, WAN side to the LAN, that might have broke and I might have to recreate those rules. But other than that, everything should move over. Well, I hope this video was helpful, you guys, and getting your new firewall deployed by just exporting those settings, go to that migration tool, making sure everything's compatible, moving those settings over, and you should be up and running within 30 minutes. Hope this video was helpful, you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.